Well, well, we're called Pine Grove. We're playing up the street uh, tonight. We're we're on a um, long, long tour of the United States right now, and uh, happy to be in Little Rock. How are you doing today, man? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Is, yeah. is, there, is there vegan food around here? That's there I'm is. There is. Um, There's the Blue Sage. They're they're right in there. They're very friendly, and uh, they have chicken fried steak, vegan burger today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Man. Sounds good to me. Awesome. Yeah. How are you? Are you talking to doing good. Yeah, we're uh, we're doing debates and interviews on the question: Why aren't you vegan yet? Are you vegan? Well, um, I I've had uh, periods of my life where I, I've had a totally vegan lifestyle. Um, recently, started bringing fish back into the equation, which has uh, felt good for my mood um, and for just like you know how sharp I feel. Have you heard about the? Uh, Algal supplements with DHA and EPA. Oh, I I don't know what that particular supplement is. I've I've tried supplements before. Um, I mean, here, here's here's my view. Um, if if you're curious, I, I mean, like, so it, for me, my main motivation was originally the climate crisis, um, and then it kind of moved into a space of like, well, I actually don't even really like meat, and there are all sorts of questions about cruelty. To animals, and you know, who am I to decide that uh, you know m my ten minutes enjoyment is worth the life of this? Right, right, right. As far as my primary concern, the climate crisis, I, I've kind of realized more and more like um, these oil companies are pushing individualism as like you know it's the consumer's fault that uh, the world is burning and not the. Uh, you know, the actions of like 10 companies, including the American military, right? Uh, you know, all these people burning fossil fuels. And, and really, I'm, I'm at this point in my life more interested in systemic solutions than uh, individual solutions. So like, yes, of course, we can try to do uh, things that, you know, uh, like more conservative lifestyles as far as not wasting water, turning lights out, uh, not, not eating animals, uh, all the time. Would you agree that when people eat less meat, less meat is produced? And on the second part, that meat uses more fossil fuels than uh, plant-based products? Yeah. Without a doubt, especially, yeah. especially the second one. Um, but I, I see a solution more kind of in the realm of like less government subsidies to factory farms. Uh, although I think that we really have seen um, a, a much more popular, uh, you know, the veganism is more popular than it was even two years ago, and especially five years ago, especially 10 years ago. Definitely, definitely. Um, I, I, I play in a band, we're playing up the street and, uh, you know, so I travel the country and uh, I, I've seen way more vegan options now i'm you know five years ago you come to arkansas and you're not really sure if if you're gonna see uh, a vegan restaurant but now you just told me there are two options here and i just walked on right <laughs> so so i think that the movement's good and, and it's strong uh and i absolutely support anybody who's committed to that type of activism i'm into it uh but you know, for me, I, I've moved away from like a you know a, a strictly committed perspective uh, to more like I, I'm I'm now advocating for like public utilities and stuff like that uh, as part of my you know right uh, and and a lot of a lot of the things with um, you know public utilities are, are separate from the issues that animals face in agriculture, including fish. Um, you know, fish are also intensively farmed in very crowded, like, ponds and lagoons. Um, I think it's, like, around half or less than half of fish is wild-caught. And even wild-caught fish, um, like tuna, there's bycatch. And some of the bycatch are very intelligent mammals. Not that intelligence should be a reason for us to exploit another individual. What do you think about fish as being sentient life? and uh, worthy of the right to, to life and to be free from violence. Yeah, absolutely. Well, sentience is hard to measure, um, and I don't think necessarily it should be the, the goalpost. You know, cockroaches have a right to live, 
and you, you know it, it, it I, I don't kill cockroaches i take them outside yeah, right same same um yeah i uh, it's it's a good question and um i i think that basically i've kind of uh had to wrestle with that a bit um it's it's sort of hard as somebody who's um traveling a lot to find like uh things that work for me dietarily i'm also allergic to dairy which obviously same here i'm i'm a bit lactose intolerant (laughs) yeah so no i mean it's it's a potent question like it's something that uh anybody who should be who is eating and especially is eating animals but like anybody who's eating which is everybody should be thinking about uh, the impact of their choices, but again, I think it's a little bit of a um, red herring, so to speak, to to say that. Nice it, pun there. It's our individual choices um, alone that are responsible for the. Pl- but I, but I know I hear you. You're, you're kind of you're taking more of a. Um, uh, the. It, I'm vegan for it. for animals. Yeah, right. You know, I right, right, right. I I believe that animals deserve legal personhood. And that we shouldn't um, exploit or harm animals for any reason besides survival, including the maintenance of good health. And, um, you know, to go back to the point that you're adding more fish into your diet, the um, the DHA and the EPA and the uh, algal supplements from companies like Diva, I take a Diva EPA and DHA every day and uh, it's it's molecularly identical to the DHA and EPA and fish. I'd, I'd be, ha- I'd be yeah. happy to, you know, to look into this. Uh, um, tell me one more time, please. Oh, sure. It's uh, called DEVA, um, D-E-V-A, um, Omega-3, with DHA and EPA. And on Amazon, it's probably like, I don't know, it's it's like a two-month supply is 27 bucks or something. And... And you would have to crunch the numbers, yeah. If we're against cruelty, we got to be boycotting Amazon. <laughs> you can you can get it from Diva instead of Amazon. Sure. Yeah. If you don't want to support Amazon, I, I worked there for about six months, so. Oh well, I I, I, I support the workers of yeah. Amazon, but I don't support their business model, and I don't support the people at the top making vastly more than their work. Yeah, income inequality is a huge issue in society, and animal agriculture. There's some intersectionality between income inequality in animal agriculture couldn't agree more yeah, yeah. but um we'll we'll get you uh, 10 weeks to vegan sign up that's why vegan outreach i volunteer for that i'm not paid and uh you said you're in a band so would you would you be okay like if your music was on my youtube channel would that be cool with you or um yeah potentially it sounds like we're uh we've got fairly similar political uh <laughs> you know persuasions but you, you should know that we're like uh ardently anti-capitalist um you know so the question is whether you want our our music <laughs> on here i like that i like that one one two one two three four. Gathered in the atmosphere, the drums each come. 